I made a video yesterday about Bible verses for people who feel behind. You know that moment when you're the last member of the clique who is here to get married? All your creator friends have just blown on social media and you're still struggling to get 2k engagement. And besides Eric Guagua trolling me for trolling him, some of my internet family members shared some very practical tips. And so I decided to make this video. So here are five things I try to do when I feel behind. Number one, pray honestly. I tend to feel very guilty about my anxiety. And one of the things that happens is it draws me away from praying. But the word of God says we should cast all our cares on him because he cares for us and he can take those burdens away. So you don't have to overthink it. The first place to just start is let God know exactly how you feel. Pray honestly. Number two, count your blessings. Slowing down long enough to appreciate and learn to enjoy the things that God has gifted us with now is not such an easy thing to do. Whenever I do, man, the amount of anxiety it takes off my shoulder and the more it makes me feel like I'm not really missing out on things outside. Three, change your perspective. Much of who we are now or the things we have or the things we can do are stuff we used to desperately pray for. And another side of it is who we are now and the things we do and the things we have are things other people are desperately praying to God for now. You see how that changes how you see things. So on one hand, this gives you a sense of gratitude. On the other hand, it helps encourage you to know that if God could answer me and bring me to this place where I desperately needed years ago, this is like guarantee that he can definitely take me to the next place or to this new level I desire. Number four, put down social media. Put it down. Like social media is a platform where everybody comes to show their best parts of their life, their highlights of their life, and in some cases, paint an impression of their life. And two, it's also a place where everybody is showing what they're actually doing. They are showing their own goals, showing their own aspirations, and showing their own work towards that path. When you're on social media too long, you start to absorb different people's visions, other people's visions, other people's goals, other people's aspirations, other people's destiny, other people's mission. Before you know it, you're lost and caught in 8 billion varieties of pathways instead of focusing on your own. Which brings me to number five, mind your business. And I don't mean this in the gossip sense. I mean this in the sense of mind your business as per. Be clear on who you are. Be clear on what your vision is. Be clear on the game you're playing. Be clear on why you are playing that game. And keep your head in that game and play it with all of your heart and measure it with your own metrics that you decided is what success means to you, not every other important person's metrics.